today. I am uh, well prepared for today's match. At uh, the opening, I made a few, you know, targeted moves. You know, I did the three three, and uh, this uh, something that Alpha Go will usually, you know, play. And of course, Alpha Go also did some quite unexpected uh, moves as well. Well, deeply, you know, impressed, I should say. About the Duan, about the cutting. I was quite shocked because that is a move which would never happen in a human to human go match. But uh, in when we may do the review of the match, we believe it's a good move. And after the cutting, and uh, actually AlphaGo has helped us to establish more influence. It's like one stone, two birds. Yeah, AlphaGo is really a very wonderful Go player. I really admire him. I fully respect his uh, its skill in Go game. He did a very brief summary of the match, and uh, we do have a press conference later. And uh, I believe that uh, for this uh, cutting, for this cutting point at that moment, quite impressive. And uh, this has reminded us of, uh, you know, Miss Tan Ye Wei Ping mentioned it's like this really an admiring moment. So. Please, Demis Hasabi, your, the floor is yours. Please say something. Uh, so I think it was a really wonderful game. And, um, you know, a huge respect to, to Jay for the amazing, brave game he fought today. And um, such a close game, an exciting game, I think, for everyone. Just half a point closest it could be. And I think uh, it shows uh, how much work uh, could Jay put into um, preparing for the match uh, and studying the master games. And uh, I think it was wonderful to see uh, his strategies today. Um, it was especially interesting for us to see him use uh, some of the moves, like the 3-3 three, three move from uh, the master series of games uh, against AlphaGo. And uh, we were very intrigued to see how AlphaGo would deal with uh, its own strategies. So um, it was a very exciting match, and I think uh, there were many beautiful moves um, that Fan Hui was explaining to me, like uh, move 24, um, which I think were very interesting moves that made uh, all the stones work across the board. So um, I think it was a very great game, and uh, it's exactly the sorts of things that we were hoping to see uh, in this summit match. So, um, you know, huge respect to um, Kujay for playing such a great game and um, pushing Alpha Go to its limits. We would like to thank Mr. Hassabis, and we would like to thank Mr. Hassabis for giving great encouragement to us. And I believe that both players, AlphaGo and Kodi, have tried their best. Just borrowing quote from Kodi, and uh, and actually both have uh, played wonderfully in today's match. We are expecting more wonderful games in the following days. We have the common goal that is. Uh, through this week's Go Summit, let's explore more possibility in Go game. So let's uh, invite the friends from the media to ask questions. Hello, I am from Sina.com. I have one question for Kodie. Congratulations, Kodie, for really showing your professional goal skills in the match. And uh, at the finishing point after the game, uh, after the match, you actually smiled in a very sorry way. And uh, so, and uh, 
you are also here present today. If you would like to make a commentary of your own match, how will that commentary be? Are you confident in the following two games or in the following two matches? Uh, please make yourself clearer. Could you re you re uh, could you paraphrase your question again? Okay. At the end of the game, when we are counting the stones, you did this really, you know, smirk or kind of, you know, uh, smell in a very embarrassing way. And uh, how do you comment uh, your own match? I thought. I think this is a kind of a bitter smile. It's not something very hearted because I knew that I would uh, lose one point for Alpha Go. The speed is uh, very even and there is no surprises. It can last for a long time. So I was calculating the moves and I was thinking that I might lose. So I had some bitter smiles on my face. If you ask me to comment on my own performance, uh, for example, this is not the, I'm not the main player. I will comment on someone else. I would say Alva played very remarkably well. Frankly speaking, for AlphaGo, there are lots of things that are worth our learning and exploring. It's understanding, and this will have a great influence on our professional players. Actually, you can take any kinds of moves. I enjoyed play with AlphaGo and actually the influence of AlphaGo has uh, been widespread. We should explore our mind and expand our thinking. This is something worth our learning. For today's Go Play, I was thinking of expanding my thoughts as well. In my impression, Alpha likes very much the down-to-earth kind of game, like the 3-3 three, three at the opening. For today's game, I was thinking of uh, AlphaGo exploring the step of getting the ground first. But to my surprise, at one point in the corner, AlphaGo got the ground. So AlphaGo occupied a lot of ground at the beginning. So for this game, Alpha did very well. As compared to that of last year, AlphaGo is a completely different player. For the first time, AlphaGo was quite uh, human-like. Now, my understanding is that it's like a god of Go players. So I hope that I would try my best to play with AlphaGo or any other players. I would like to thank AlphaGo, opponent like AlphaGo, and also the team to give my give me this opportunity to have this uh, com competition or match. I hope that through this match, I can bring to you more interest in Go playing and also pleasure in watching Go playing. We'd like to thank Ke Jie uh, uh, Sina caught the smile of uh, Ke Jie. Now, what we see from Ke Jie is a matured Ke Jie. We would also like to thank Go, Go Game. Any other person who would like to ask questions? I'm from Zhejiang TV. I'd like to ask Ke Jie 
through today's match, have you got the system of AlphaGo uh, in playing the games? Understand very well. Can you repeat your question? I didn't catch your question. I just want to ask you if you have understood AlphaGo and the weakness of AlphaGo so that you can have a good tactic to fight against it. Actually, for AlphaGo has displayed to us many real games, including the 60 series. The weakness of AlphaGo is not revealed yet. I've been thinking about it for some time. In the past, it has some weaknesses, but now I feel that its understanding of the Go game and the judgment of the game is beyond our ability. I try to find the bug, but there are quite a lot of difficulties in finding the bug. As for the competence, for me, I always have confidence in myself because I said before that this might be my last game with the, uh, this is my last of the three games with uh, AlphaGo. Now there are only two left. It's my great pleasure to play with AlphaGo. I will try my best to play the other two matches with AlphaGo. I will treasure this opportunity. Uh, I think you have asked Kezia already. Uh, maybe you can ask uh, Hasabi for any weaknesses of AlphaGo. You know, that's why we are here uh, for this summit, is we want to discover if uh, a great player like Kujie can find some weaknesses that uh, we don't know, and uh, even AlphaGo doesn't know uh, for playing against itself. So, of course, when we played our match against Lee Sedol, um, in game four, Lee Sedol, with his brilliant creativity, found a weakness and managed to win this game. And uh, it was very interesting for us to see this uh, uh, gap in the knowledge of AlphaGo. And so in the last year, we went back to try and improve the architecture and the system and uh, for it to learn more against uh, itself and to see if we could solve this knowledge gap. Um, so we believe we have fixed that knowledge gap, but of course, there could be many other new uh, areas that it doesn't know. Uh, and that we don't know either, and that's why we're here to see um, if, if they can be discovered. So, Kezie still has a long way to go to find out weaknesses of AlphaGo. Uh, this lady. I have a question. I have a question to Demis. For this match, Ke Jie was uh, slightly behind AlphaGo, and we knew that AlphaGo is not satisfied with uh, victories, but paying attention to the gap of its winning. Has AlphaGo achieved this? If not, how long does it take for AlphaGo to achieve this goal? Yes, so AlphaGo um, always tries to maximize its probability of winning rather than to maximize the size of the winning margin. So whenever we see um, it has a decision to make, it will always try to pick the more certain path that it thinks is more certain path uh, to, to victory with less risk. So often in positions, that's what we see the trade-off that AlphaGo is making is to decide about 
how certain it is about uh, the margin of, of, of victory and, and how likely the probability of the victory. Dave, I don't know if you want to add anything to that. So it's a very interesting question. Um, the way AlphaGo works is, as Demis said, it maximizes the probability of winning the game. So this means that we've programmed into AlphaGo a goal, and that goal is matched with what we really want it to do, which is to try and win games of Go. Um, you could imagine other objectives being applied, such as maximizing the gap, the margin of victory. But this is not the objective that we chose um, for AlphaGo to play in the game of Go. And so if you really focus on victory, then it leads to these uh, behaviors where AlphaGo will try to win. And in doing so, it may give up a number of points in favor of actually just reducing any risk that it perceives, even if that risk seems to be very small. Can I, can I understand it as this? The future Alpha Go will explore the limitations of mankind. I, I think uh, the way to think about it is, is that Go is this amazing uh, uh, subject uh, that has got almost limitless possibilities. And, you know, as I said in my opening talk, um, I see Alpha Go as a tool for Go players and the Go community to use to explore this uh, mysteries and the truth of Go and find out more. And I hope that you know the Go players have enjoyed the last year, including these matches and the matches uh, online, the Master Series. And I hope that has contributed to improving our understanding of this amazing game. So I see it as a tool we can use with great players like Kuje and Lisa Dol. Uh, to discover more about the game that, that we all love. Thank you very much. Because of the limited time, we'll leave the time to the media. Respected uh, Chairman, respected Mr. Hasabi, Mr. Kobe, I'm from Ike, Go. Company. I'd like to ask, uh, this is, is this a pure AlphaGo, or is it uh, AlphaGo not relying on the steps of great Go players or Go masters? So I, I'm not sure I understood the question correctly, but, uh, <laughs> um, you know, obviously, uh, the, the, the version of AlphaGo uh, initially learns from human games and then does most of its learning now from its own play against itself. So, um, but of course, to truly test what it knows, we have to play against human experts because we don't know, you know, uh, playing against games against itself, it's not going to expose its own weaknesses because it will um, obviously fix those during the self-play. So we really have to test it against uh, the world's best players. Perhaps I could just add that one of the innovations of AlphaGo Master um, is actually that it uh, relies much more on learning from itself. So in this version, AlphaGo has actually become its own teacher, learning from moves uh, which are taken from examples of its own searches, but relies much less actually on the human data than previous versions. And one of our goals in doing so is to make it more and more general, so that it could, in principle, be applied to other domains beyond Go. Uh, this no, but the master's version is a VR5. For the version with Ke Jie for AlphaGo, is it a new version? Also, I want to know, this is our last time to see AlphaGo. Will AlphaGo become a tool? Is it a new version? Also, I want to know, this is our last time to see AlphaGo. Will AlphaGo become a tool to help professional Go players to improve their skills? Or it will say bye-bye to us from now on? All your questions. 
so maybe I can answer the first part of that question um, regarding the technology inside AlphaGo. So AlphaGo Master is a new version of AlphaGo, and we've worked very hard to improve the fundamental algorithm that is used in AlphaGo. In fact, um, it turns out that the algorithm often matters more than the amount of data or the amount of compute power that actually goes into it. And if you get those algorithms right and make them general and powerful enough, then they can really progress very rapidly. And so in fact, in AlphaGo Master, um, actually uses 10 times less computation and is trained in a matter of weeks rather than months compared to the version that played against Lisa Doll last year. So it is a different version, um, and it's, at least in self-play, performs considerably stronger, and we're here to find out, indeed, if it actually is as strong as it has seemed to be in self-play, or if it has weaknesses that can be exposed. And as far as the second part of the question, um, I'll just answer that. So uh, later on in the, in, the, in the event, we will be announcing the next steps for AlphaGo, so I don't want to uh, uh, say anything in advance of that, but we will be talking about that later during the week. But one thing I want to say is, just like with the last version of AlphaGo, where we published all the technical details and results of the AlphaGo program uh, and in the Nature article in the scientific journal Nature, and uh, we published all the details, and that allowed other companies, uh, uh, you know, Tencent and, and Japanese companies, to uh, make their own versions of uh, AlphaGo. And uh, some of them are very strong now as well, as I'm sure you'll know, uh, that are playing online, uh, probably, you know, at nine down level too. And, um, and we plan to publish more details of uh, the new version of AlphaGo in the next few months. So, um, so, you know, we will reveal all those technical details and then, uh, again, other teams uh, and academic uh, labs will be able to implement their versions of, um, of, of this AlphaGo master architecture. Thank you. I think that uh, after the whole day's match, Kozie must be very exhausted and there are also a lot of questions for the media. We have now only three questions to ask. My question is to Mr. Hasabi. Today, for the game against AlphaGo, uh, how many GPU of AlphaGo were consumed? consumed? And uh, for the game with uh, Kozie, did AlphaGo got very hot? Yeah. So, Dave, do you want to take that? Um, so, the answer to the technical question is that AlphaGo actually, in this match, is playing on a single machine on the Google Cloud. Um, so, this is quite different to the compute that was used last year, where we were using a distributed implementation that used many machines within the Google Cloud. Um, now, because we have a much more powerful, efficient algorithm that works in a much uh, better um, in simpler way, um, it is actually able to use um, more than a tenth of the computation um, to achieve even stronger and better results. So AlphaGo is just playing on a single machine that will be available on the Google Cloud to someone who is to access that. Um, and that machine is based on TPUs, um, which are these tensor processing units that were announced by Google recently. So just to be clear, we're using 10 times less computation power, roughly, than for the Lisa Doll match. Uh, in simple way, yes, in a simple word, it means a single machine. <coughs> I'm from Sina. I have two questions. The first is to Kezie. Uh, you are allowed to have only one question. Oh, this is to Kezie. Last night, you sent out a blog saying that uh, your feelings before the match. You said that this will be the last three times you will play with the AI. This is your decision. Can you tell us the reason why you make this decision? Let me 
tell you something. The reason why I made such a decision actually is because I, it took me a long time because I talk about it in private with a lot of my friends. So I believe that artificial intelligence technology is moving very fast, just like uh, AlphaGo version and also for for example, the new version of a master and also my version as well, you can see that every time is a major progress forward, is a major leap forward every time for AlphaGo. So that's why you can see that in the future it's going to become more perfect, becoming stronger and more perfect and more perfect. So that's why actually the gap between human beings versus AlphaGo um, is so beyond our can. It's not like we work very hard, we can catch up and close the gap with AlphaGo. I believe in the power of science and technology. Because for the Go game, if you look at AlphaGo, I believe that the future will belong to artificial intelligence. And the world will be made a much better place and more convenient place because of artificial intelligence. So I believe that if you look at the Go game, so I still enjoy playing with real human beings. Because um, if you move towards the future, let's think about it. No matter it's uh, AlphaGo or other programs, they are constantly moving and progressing. So the winning chance for human being is uh, small, smaller and smaller. So to the point that we are having uh, almost a zero winning probability. So it will be a horrible experience pitting yourself against AlphaGo and other algorithms. If I'm going to pit myself against human beings, I have a better chance of winning, right? I'm pretty good, right? So that's why in the future, I still hope to play with a real human being. So. This time around, actually, I'm going to have three matches with AlphaGo. So as I mentioned, that is going to be the last three games I'm going to play with artificial intelligence. So um, sometimes uh, people are thinking, are you going to go for online training, play yourself against the, the algorithm? No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to play against the Tencent software or Japanese software. No, I'm not going to do it anymore. So this is a uh, almost always the last three matches I'm going to play against um, algorithm. But if in the future, if there is an AI involved in human-to-human -human computation, now this is a force beyond my control. Uh, it's not something that I choose to like. I didn't prefer that because uh, if you beat yourself against an uh, algorithm, you're losing chance and probability is very high. So that's why from my personal opinion, I think in the future, I still hope that I can play the Go game with a real human being. And for AlphaGo and uh, comparable software, how should I view them? I think they are my teachers. I'm going to learn from them. So from this perspective, actually, maybe other Go players would like to uh, play against them, but probably not me. So for me, I'm not so happy about my performance in the following ways. I think I could have done better. I should have done better. But sometimes, no matter how hard you have tried, your competitor is so strong, so powerful. So that's why I made my decision to uh, have the last three games and matches with um, artificial intelligence. So I hope it's the last time. I hope that I can uh, leave no regret for myself. I will try the best I can do um, so that I will not be regretful. So I hope that I can make some excellent moves to make myself satisfactory and happy. So actually, for example, if I, I'm strong enough to, to make the, for example, GPU or the brain of AlphaGo get warmer or heated up, it's great. So I will try my best to play against AlphaGo because in the future, actually AlphaGo will become stronger and stronger. So that's why this time I will try the best I can. So I tried my best today, actually. But um, honestly, you can see that in the very beginning, there are a lot of human flaws and errors. So um, my human flaws are exposed early on in the game. So this time I will try my best to make sure that I will try the best I can to have a beautiful game. Even if I, I lose the game, actually, I don't have any regret because I've tried the best I can. So as a professional Go player, so winning is your ultimate target and destiny. No matter if you like to play against computer algorithms or if you like to play against uh, Go players, actually sometimes people will have different level of enjoyment and interest. So um, as long as you can learn something from this game, so every individual has a lot of uh, different way of perspective. They look at things differently from different perspectives. For Kujie, so on the 26th, uh, we're going to 2-2-2 two, two, two match. So actually, uh, which means that, for example, you can see that in this 2-2-2 two, two, two match on the 26th, you are going to have the game played between machine and human and, uh, teaming up together. So you're going to have a lot of room for imagination. So this is going to be more fun. So uh, actually, let's give the time for the last question. So a lot of hands being raised up, so you have put me in a very awkward position. I'm not going to make enemies with anyone with you. So uh, what about the one who is sitting closest to me? 
Thank you very much, my dear moderator. So I would like to ask, uh, for example, Hasabis, I come from Phoenix Technology. My question for you is that, so if more and more top Go players do not want to play with AlphaGo, have we thought about pitting AlphaGo against the AlphaGo? So uh, do you have any test for what's the future going to look like if a machine is going to play against machine? Well, you know, so uh, for us, uh, you know, we, we want to um, use AlphaGo, as I said, as a tool for the Go community to to uh, to improve the to improve their knowledge about the game, so we hope to you know release some details about the architecture we're using, maybe also some of the games that AlphaGo plays against itself. So we will maybe make some announcements about this uh, later in the week. Um, but don't forget, the reason ultimately we're developing these technologies is also to use them more widely in uh, areas of science and medicine, and to try and help. Uh, uh, human experts in those areas make faster breakthroughs. So we have a lot of work ahead of us uh, in the coming years. Well, thank you all three of you. Thank you all the three panelists for your wonderful sharing. With that, we successfully concluded our press conference on the 25th and on the 26th and the 27th. Actually, we are going to continue this game and the press conference. See you.